I think those pilot programs are going very well. So first with House Bill 1973, we established a pilot program to help free and reduced lunch students. Those are students in our neediest families get access to college in the high school and running start for free. So that bill set up scholarships to allow college and the high school students to have their tuition paid and for running start students to have their books paid. Uh, we have those across our state and I'm pleased, really excited that Skagit Valley College and Community College are offering the Running Start Scholarship. And then in addition, we passed House Bill 2873 last year, which establishes a Running Start Summer Pilot Program. And three of our community colleges, including Skagit Valley College, are participating in that program this summer. That's going to allow our high school juniors and seniors to take a class, a Running Start class for the first time ever, uh, for free over the summer that's going to help with folks that have have missed a credit because of the pandemic or are looking to get ahead and trying a college class for the first time so college in the high school is that program that allows students to earn college credit while they are still in high school they're actually taking classes at their high school and those are those are articulated with our local community colleges and four year uh, universities. So I'm excited that the legislature is considering House Bill 1302. That's great legislation that allows our ninth grade students who are already in these uh, college and the high school classes, allows them to earn credit for the first time. I'm really excited to be able to get those students their first college credit as early as ninth grade. I want to thank my my colleague, Representative April Berg, for bringing this great legislation forward. I'm really proud to have voted in favor of House Bill 1425. That uh, expands our Opportunity Scholarship Program uh, to allow students who have lived in the state uh, for a year to be able to access that that scholarship. That's really important for military families where the uh, spouse is oftentimes not a Washington state resident. Uh, after they've lived here for a year, they're going to be able to access that scholarship. And that helps folks earn college credit, get to a family wage job more quickly. Thank you for those questions. I really appreciate it. Uh, appreciate all the questions and uh, helpful comments that we've received in this legislative session. I look forward to working with you in the rest of the session to help promote family-wage jobs. Thanks so much and have a great afternoon.